this uh, partnership uh, between Union Bank and between Consensus and Cantilan Bank, what we're all trying to solve is financial inclusion. So the question is, how do we get financially excluded Filipinos who are generally located in the rural countryside of the Philippines? Now the rural banks can be connected one to the other to basically support each other in creating this national so good morning ladies and gentlemen you saw a really quick video which was a very quick introduction to project eye to eye so it's a partnership among Union Bank of the Philippines consensus Kaleido and five pilot rural banks let me make the case I am one of 105 million Filipinos. Lovely people, full of hope, always with a ready smile. But 35 million Filipinos live on less than $2 a day. And 35 million adult Filipinos are unbanked. So this is clearly a huge opportunity for financial inclusion a chance to make a difference in a very meaningful way. If only we simply onboard these 35 million Filipinos into the financial ecosystem, especially to arbitrage usurious village moneylenders uh, through credit intervention affordably. And if you frame this with the predictions that many experts make that the Philippines will be a G20 country by 2050, this also represents a huge opportunity to be at the ground floor of an emerging middle market. We believe that the rural banks are best suited to bank these 35 million unbanked Filipinos. But here's the thing. The rural banks are themselves financially excluded. They are unbanked themselves. They are not connected at all to the domestic money payment system and definitely not to the international payment system. And this is quite unfortunate because, as you know, the Philippines has a huge workforce. About 10 million families depend on their livelihood from a family member abroad that remits money into the Philippines, which currently costs a lot relative to the meager amounts that are remitted because of the uncompetitive and alternative uh, channels that need to be used. So what's our strategy? Our strategy is to connect each rural bank one to the other so that as a collective they can form their own national payment system. And from here we can then connect to the international payment system. And I think this is a very important step. Our solution is project eye to eye. So we are onboarding this um, untrusting actors, the rural bank, onto the blockchain. As, 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 as was mentioned, we're partnering Union Bank with Consensus, running on the Kaleido platform. But we're not making an off-the-shelf solution. We are working with the rural banks. So this is a story of collaboration and of co-creation. So we're building a decentralized, near real-time, cost-effective, secure, retail payment system 
on the blockchain. But we also are reducing the cost of transactions because what we noticed is that we can eliminate more than 20 transaction steps in the fulfillment of an international remittance transaction compared to how it is currently done. But the most important part is that it inserts the rural bank into the cash flows of their customers in the communities, and this gives them the data points to be able to do a proper risk assessment, to be able to give affordable credit, to engage their customers in a localized, relevant way, and most importantly, to be a catalyst to inclusive prosperity. So on May 22, at the National Convention of the Rural Banks in Davao, Philippines, we're going to launch this project. And we are really excited to see the fruits of this endeavor because it truly has the potential to elevate lives and to fulfill dreams of 35 million unbanked Filipinos. And we are looking forward to this continuing partnership with Consensus and Kaleido and the rural banks to make this a reality going forward. Thank you.